Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another speed build and today I'm going to be doing a home called a tiny slaughter. Now it isn't like a proper tiny home because I know those are actually like proper things. Uh, this is just another way of calling it for like, you know, it, just a small starter home. Um, so it could be for one or two sims. It's got one bedroom, one bathroom and kind of like an open and dining living space sort of thing. Um, normally I would do like the kitchen, the dining and living room all in one room, but I uh, actually split off the kitchen a little bit. I've got like a half wall in but we'll get to that in just a minute um so yeah this is just a, like a small start home it's under 21,000 which I believe is the uh you know the amount of money you get for one sim I believe um it came out to about, be about like 20,900 simoleons or something um and it is up on the gallery you can head over there my origin id is real thomas tv1 to go ahead and download this for yourself so um in this home i use blue on the outside which isn't something i use a whole lot of um so you know i just wanted to switch things up today um i was in the mood to do some sort of building but I didn't really have a lot of time, so I thought I'd do this. I haven't done it before, and it just seemed like a nice idea. Um, another thing I've noticed is that I'm starting to see my starter homes have a similar kind of like style of this, like the, you know, that brick wall on the front, or stone, whatever you want to call it, um, on the front there. I always, I've seen that in a couple of different speed builds I've done recently, um, so I might have to try and, you know, do something different next time, but I think it still looks great. Um, so the good thing about it being small was meaning that I could actually do some good landscaping. I mean, well, to be honest, it turned out too great, but I'm not having like one or two plants I mean um, because this is small so and the plants in this game are actually kind of expensive to be honest so you know that worked out well um, and I did the landscaping at the end I normally do in that order I know some people do it first even I do it first sometimes but what I notice is I'll do it first and then when I get inside to do the like the inside bit I might have to change a wall or two or something then it messes up the uh, landscaping on the outside if that makes sense so um I try to leave it to the end and it just seems to be easier that way. Um, so working on kind of like the layout here, I was going to go and do the windows, but I wanted to go ahead and actually do the layout first. So I knew where to put the windows and everything. And I did change that slightly as I went. Um, so I'm just working on the windows now, like I said. Um, I kept the, you know, the colour scheme in this house neutral, which is something I do quite a lot. Um, but I didn't use the... Like, there's this neutral style wallpaper that I use all the time. It's one that's got, like, kind of like the skirt and ball going around it on the top and the bottom. Um, I use that quite a lot. Um, but today I decided to use another one, which isn't something I use that often. It's more of a traditional style. Um... But anyway, I really, really like it. And also this uh, flooring that I'm using, I use that quite a lot now. It was something that I've seen in a couple of speed builds um, not too long ago. And I'm like, what type of, um, you know, like wallpaper, not wallpaper, <laughs> flooring is that? And I just couldn't find it. It's because it's like a different colour swatch from one of the things. And it just doesn't look like the original, if that makes sense. Um, it's towards the bottom of the wood floorings um, in that section. And I was just, I really like it. I use it all the time now. Um, so I'm just working on um, where I'm going to put the kitchen. I was going to put it along where that back wall was there with the um you know that stone and um, but i thought it might be a little bit too big so i did separate it off a little bit which um i thought it looked okay um i kept everything in this house very basic in terms of the appliances and everything since it is you know a start at home after all um so like i was saying i did use some of that stone brick i keep saying brick it's bricks i said stone brick I, oh my god that's stone stuff <laughs> um i do like use that quite a lot actually and just you know all my speed builds in general because um it's kind of just like a nice little feature wall and um, I used it in today's you know build as well. And this was the one we got with the Bowler Knight stuff pack and I don't believe it was that expensive actually. So um, I'm glad I put that to good use. Um, so I'm just going to have the kitchen. It didn't really take long this build to be honest. I think it was about um, 40 minutes. Hang on, I'm just going to check my recording folder here. Um, let's see if I can find it. Hopefully this is not going to take me too long. Oh my God, where's it? I can't even find it. <laughs> it's because I'm like rushing and I'm like miss clicking things um so it took me let's see here 44 minutes um but that's with like the speed like the screenshots and me putting it on the gallery and stuff that's included so probably took me about 35 minutes or so um so it wasn't too long um and since it is a small build of course it didn't take that long and um, for a start at home it normally takes me about an hour to an hour and a half but you know since it's on you know pretty much a very very small scale um it didn't really take me that long and um 
I feel like I'm getting, you know, faster building in general. I've realized from like builds I used to do a long time ago compared to, you know, similar sizes I'm doing these days. And it is much, much, you know, smaller. Um, so I just hit my pop filter there. I don't know if you heard it. Um, so I'm just going in with the decorations now. Um, I started off with the kitchen. I've done that pretty much. I think at the end I went back and changed like one or two different things. Um, just doing the living room. And as you can see, I'm saving. Um, like I say it all the time is that I always save every couple of minutes. After one time when it crashed after I didn't save and I made loads of progress it was really really irritating so you know I do try to save as much as I can now um so we're working on um you know the living room like I said I did a little dining table there and um we're working on the kind of just well the living room and stuff um wasn't really a whole lot I could do because of you know the money restrictions and stuff but I made it work I think um wasn't really too sure what to do with that space I was going to put either like a bookshelf or a computer in that space but there was that archway going through into the kitchen so it wasn't really any space to do that to be honest so um I just went ahead and put a side table there and a stereo which I thought looked great um and yeah so another thing one yet let me know down below in the comment section is um what you want to see next in terms of you know creations and stuff and well speed builds or just videos in general then always I'm always open to suggestions um, so make sure you leave those down below in the comment section or you can actually tweet me them um, my username on twitter is realthomastv1 and um, I'll be happy to try and do them I'll just add it to my list I have this thing like one like to keep like in track and everything of my videos I have a google um, docs not google docs google spreadsheet thing and um, what I basically do is have a list of my video titles and a list of the day I upload so I upload on Mondays Wednesdays Fridays Saturdays and Sundays and um, so I just put all the dates in there of those like dates and then I'll just put the video title in and um, then on the side I have a kind of like just a list of all my video ideas which I'm not too sure where I'm going to schedule them so I just put them to the side if that makes sense and I have like over a hundred different ideas one night I've just been adding and adding and adding so you know I just keep going on you know just adding stuff as I go and um, it builds up after a while and you know if I'm stuck for a build idea or I'm in the mood for something and I don't know what to do then I always go back there and try to find something so um yeah so the point of me saying all that is I'll add it to that list if that took so long to explain anyway so i'm always open to suggestions i don't really do requests that often because that's kind of like more pressurized and stuff but i do take um you know suggestions all the time you can just you know message me whenever you want to be honest with that um so we're working on the landscape and now we're pretty much finished with the inside i think i went back one or two times to delete an item or two so i had enough money for the landscaping which you know happens quite a lot when it comes to doing the landscaping and um, because like i was saying at the beginning it is pretty expensive um so i did put a little planter pot there I suppose once you actually move in, you could delete those uh, sunflowers and actually use it as a proper, you know, plant pot. And um, one thing I didn't mention, I actually gave this house some lot rates as well. I think it was um, the Pennies Pixies or something. Um, what was, else was it? I think it was Chef's Kitchen and Great Soil. Because uh, I suppose you could maybe do a little garden or something here as well, since it is quite a lot of space in the back. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm going to leave you here with me finishing off the landscape and, and then some screenshots. So thanks for watching. Make sure you leave this video with a like comment share and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you all next time bye